Alrighty, let's play this in full first. There is no sound. It's kind of short. Let's watch this again a couple times here. And cool. So let's check this out here. So you have reference and you are saying your mail. This is blocking for the new shot. Okay, we are starting on a switch up. You got a little frame that's not there in terms of animation, which is fine. Actually, you got two frames there. And then I'm just checking how closely you are sticking to the reference. Seems a bit late, um, but that doesn't really matter. Just as a FYI, how I see this here. You got your stretchy frame on this, but it's actually already here. Also, it's not as stretched out as here. Yeah, not that this is wrong. You can always take reference the way you want it. He's also already anticipating with the lean back, which is not quite here yet. So it's more like a question for you. How closely do you want to match this? Do you want to embellish a bit more? Do you want to do your own thing? There's definitely something to gain from that reference. I like that there's a lean forward into a lean back. I think that could be cool to take uh, from the reference. Same thing with the lean back with the arms. It's almost like, yeah, he wants to get there. It's already leaning back to get there. And then once he's there, there's a bit of a more of a lean forward. To me, this, this is all interesting in terms of, not that it's a full C-curve reversal, but at least it gives you some contrast in the posing. Like this is cool. And then looking at yours, I think you're staying in this straight pose for a bit too long. Again, this is just looking at the reference since you are including it, I'm just being picky on that reference. And then watch out again, because it's a bit late, your animation compared to the reference, but I like the full extension on that leg with that leg coming up and then with that little lift up Bam, and then pushing up and then you see that compression here pushing down and that leg coming up whereas in yours there's a bit of a ex uh, full extension missing it's kind of there i would maybe keep that one frame longer and then have this guy the left leg come up a bit sooner they're a bit coming up at the same time here in your case I kind of like the way it's offset in this, where you have to clear changes there in the legs. I kind of would take that as well. This is cool. You got that slidey aspect of it coming up. Again, I'm just looking at reference and then yours, just to kind of compare what's going on. And funny enough, this is where I would deviate from the reference, where technically, if I do my onion skinning here I hope I can trace this to some degree you can see how on, on this frame the the real foot here sticks on that frame which is interesting to watch but in animation if you do something like this I would tweak it and hold on you got a red shoe so let me switch this to this All right so as we're going up with this you don't have a sticky foot, but bang, it's a bit harsh in this, where I would kind of go a bit like this, a bit more of a curve, and change it up from the reference. Also, he lands with both feet at the same time, fine in live action. CG, it just makes it CG looking. I know this is weird to say, but I know that it's CG, but I would still offset the landing then a little bit. Now, that being said, hold on, there's something at the end too. So question is, do you want to stop it? I kind of like this. I like that swing back in his arms as he comes up and moves a foot forward. Question for you, do you want to continue with this? Do you want to emulate that? Now, if I ignore the reference and just look at your animation, there's... It feels pretty good. There's something slightly floaty right there on the root. Do like your your change in arm there it goes up and then an adjustment it's a bit of an offset and i know this is the first pass I'm just 
saying in a future thing. Future passes, watch for some uh, offsets there. But there's something that strikes me as funky as you push yourself up. And I like that. It's basically a push down with those arms plus that swing up that propels the roots to go up. What am I reacting to? It feels like your root goes up and then straight this way and then down. And I think what I would do is given that the foot is swinging out this way, I would also have a little bit of a, uh, this in your root. Like right now it's all very straight through there. I would give this a slight outside arc. And then here, watch out that it arcs down and doesn't flatten so quickly. I feel like it goes up and then left and then down. That's probably what I'm reacting to there. Just that gives a bit of a weird feel. But yeah, other than that, it's good stuff. Really cool detail. Take it from the reference and the feet and the compression and the wiggliness. Um, definitely have to keep going with the ends. Also offset arms at the end right there as they come up. And probably take that out of the reference and probably just curl those fingers down a bit just so they're not in this pose throughout. And I know this is Fairly similar to the reference there. It's kind of small for me to look at, but there's some, some parts here and there to kind of break away from the reference. Now, again, that being said, it is very close to the reference. This is totally up to you. If you want to stick to that and just kind of practice emulating reference and studying your curves, or if you want to go a bit further and start pushing if you want to, poses where the character might be even more leaning forward in my awesome drawing like this. It's a massively long arm. And then really lean back a lot. Like just push those poses and potentially have a, a deeper anticipation and like a down with the root to then bam, push up and then maybe even this half a bit faster. Then that going up and a whole hang time, boom, a bit of a bounce off. So it's kind of up to you how far you want to go. Um, this is not in your email. And it's not something that you have to do. This is my question for you. Do you want to stick to the reference? Then I would look at those notes that I just gave you. And if you want to go beyond, look at those certain elements that you could push to make this a bit more stylized. Well, that's completely up to you. And that's it. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.